Hello everyone. Welcome to the Salesforce CPQ training program. Myself, Moon Bernwal, founder and CEO of Korea Consulting. Today I am going to uh, take uh, another topic for Kanga Composer template where I am going to discuss about how you can utilize the merge field in a formula actually. So we are going to discuss about a formula using merge field. So if you see my screen in my PowerPoint slide deck, you will see the syntax for that formula. So in Word document, we will have to just insert the formula and then utilize that merge field. And based on the merge field, you can just manipulate your, you can do the calculation for that formula. So let's suppose um, you have two merge field, you like, you wanted to like multiply to each other and then divide by 100. So you can see the syntax for amount multiplied by quantity divided by 100. It is just an example how to use that formula in uh, a Kanga template. <laughs> Let me go back to my CS4C screen, then I will show you something. So if you see my uh, screen in Salesforce, I have just opened one of a uh, customer account. And then the moment I click on this uh, Kanga template launcher, it will open our Kanga Composer a document page where I can go and select the a template and then I can generate a, a document from these uh, a data from a customer account page. So this this is the template that I have uploaded. I will show you the template how it will look like. The moment I hit for preview button, so what it does, it will automatically fetch the data information from our account page and uh, fill the data in the uh, document itself in the template itself now you see in my like a, a template i do have my contact list opportunity list cases and here i am using my like our entire calculation for our formula field so i will i'm just going to discuss about these formulas how i have been using and then how you can utilize in our kanga composer word document base so currently what i have been doing i am just showing this total closed amount field including row count field and the count minus opportunity amounts, which is basically this minus row count. Row count minus this amount will be our 18998, which is another formula field that I have been using initially. So if you go back, let me open one of my template that I have uploaded in my system. If you see this template, <coughs> Currently, what I what you see, I have my opportunity amount, my amount, opportunity, my amount. This is my merge field that I have, one of the merge field. Another merge field is called opportunity my count. So in my amount and my count is basically, if you see in my generated template, this is my opportunity and this is uh, row count. So under this particular account, I have two opportunities. If I go back to my account detail base, under this account, I have two opportunities and both opportunities are 9,500. So some of these opportunities basically, it will appear something, uh, 10,000 amount, 19,000 amount actually. So 19,000 will, will be our total opportunity, which is related to our account. And row count is, is basically our two, because I do have two opportunities in the, in the opportunity records related to that account. And this is the formula that I have uh, using for opportunity M, row count minus opportunity amount. Let me show you how it will look like in our Kanga template. So this is the formula that I am using. If I go and select the toggle codes, so how it will look like toggle field codes. You see, this is the merge field. So I am using one of the merge field called my my opportunity amount. So my opportunity amount minus my opportunity uh, my count minus my opportunity amount. These are the two fields. So opportunity my count minus opportunity my amount will be our count of minus count minus opportunity amount will be the result which you see in our code PDF document. 
So now I would like to calculate an average. So I am going to create one average column here. In the average, how you can utilize the average? So first, what you have to do, you will have to again do the table start and table in first. Okay. Table start and table in. After this, what you have to do, you will have to just click on insert. Search for here, call formula. Put one, any one of the value that you can put. And then from select this value and click on a toggle field course. So you see I have formula inserted here. Now here what you have to do, you will have to just insert the merge field. So I am using this opportunity my count here. This is my a merge field. I will click on insert and then click on field. I will select a merge field here as an option. So here my count. And then I am going to utilize another field call opportunity, my amount, my opportunity amount. My amount, go and select insert, and click on field, select merge field, and then put the value call opportunity my amount. I am using this my opportunity amount divided by my count will be my average amount, and then just save this template, close this template. So I'm just going to open my template one more time. If you see my template, how it will look like. So you can see the toggle option. The moment you click on a toggle field course, so you'll see the result. Amount divided by count is basically our average field. This is what I would like to achieve in my sales force. <clears throat> so this template, what you have to do, You'll have to go back to your template area in the Kanga template. Just upload your new file. And then now let's do the testing. Go back to here. And you can again go back to the com composer PDF document generation. And click on preview. Perfect. So if you see, I have my total amount called nineteen thousand. This is my row count two, and this is a row count minus nineteen thousand is basically another formula that I'm using. I'm using an average, so average is basically total amount divided by two, which is nine thousand five hundred. So this is how you can utilize your uh, formulas using merge field in the Kanga template. And uh, thanks for watching this uh, uh, Salesforce CPQ training program, where I have been going through all Kanga Composer uh, template related queries, or how you can utilize that Kanga Composer, and how you can utilize the formula fields and multi selected list. Please keep watching and please stay updated. Please subscribe and this channel as well as please forward uh, and share this uh, my channel to your YouTube uh, and uh, LinkedIn profile or in your social media network. Thanks for your support. Thank you very much.